just Chanel here. Every single morning I start my curing. Usually I drink tea, but today I'm feeling coffee. So I'm going to try out this Gloria Jean's butter toffee coffee. And I drink my coffee black. So having like some sort of flavor is nice sometimes, even though it's still black. Um, and then I'm also going to add in some collagen. So I'm trying out the collagen peptides from Gage Life. And I'm super excited about this because it has 20 grams of protein. That is insane. I'm like, wow. It's only 90 calories. It's unflavored, 22 grams of collagen. And you can basically mix this in any beverage. This ensures that you will meet your protein macros for the day. This 20 grams of protein, I mean, y'all have really outdone yourselves. So make a nice large cup of coffee and we're gonna mix this in, see how it mixes in and also see how it tastes. You can mix it in anything, but I wanna really see, am I gonna be able to taste this in the coffee? Okay, so let's, okay, boom. One full scoop. Collagen supports healthy nails, skin, hair, joints because you know as you get older all those things really start to uh, suffer <laughs> okay so just mixing it with a spoon here not a blender or anything and it is literally dissolving like this is insane the Gage Life Collagen Peptides are soy-free, gluten-free, uh, dairy-free. So that is awesome. I'm always concerned when supplements are not like soy and dairy-free. Okay, literally, y'all, completely dissolved. Wow. Just with a spoon. Okay. So now for the real test, how does this taste? I know I look crazy, but I mean, this is a real, okay, when I eat in the day video, like I literally just woke up. So this coffee, first of all, smells so good. It smells sweet, but of course there's no sugar in here. Mm. And you cannot taste anything. It tastes regular like coffee. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm getting protein in, in a drink like a regular drink. I wonder how it would taste if I mis mixed it with water. Mm. Like if I'm ever running low on protein for the day, I'm just gonna mix a scoop of this in some water. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and then I'll get back to you guys when I'm dressed and ready to work out. Mm -hmm. Pre-workout meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner on the way. All right, y'all, so I am dressed and ready to work out. I have my pre-workout meal, so I eat an apple before I work out every single day. Well, I don't work out every single day, let me be clear. But the five days a week that I do really work out, and then I will still start my day with an apple, like the days I don't really like go hard in the gym or I don't go to the gym at all. I may just go to the park with friends or, you know, just keep moving errands and things like that. But an apple a day, you know, keeps the doctor away. So, uh, and of course my meal plan actually says I should eat an apple before the workout. I'm going to do this, go work out, of course, stay hydrated throughout the day. Um, also stomach on flat, flat. Okay. Like, Make sure y'all are following me on Instagram because I really want to get a picture in this little outfit. And my stomach has been looking like this for about three or four days now. And I just stepped on the scale and baby. <laughs> when I tell you I haven't been this weight since 2016, like I am shocked. I have my goal weight, forget that goal weight of 148 because... Your girl is on a whole different goal now, okay? But I will definitely share that in next week's video. So, yeah, let's keep on going with this of what I eat today. Mmm, 
sour. Alrighty, after my workout, I drink a protein smoothie. So I'm using a, some almond milk and of course the Gage Life Whey Protein. This has 25 grams of protein and less than one gram of fat. It's only 110 calories and I love the vanilla flavor. I'm not a big chocolate fan, so I always go for vanilla everything. But put it in my shaker bottle here. Add about eight ounces of almond milk. I really like my um, protein shakes to be smooth. So I like to add a little more liquid than most people. But yeah, we're gonna give this a shake and I do have a few ice cubes in here as well. All right, my biggest complaint with protein powders, for sure, my hair looks crazy. <laughs> but uh, like the consistency, I hate when the powder does not completely dissolve. That's gross. And I also don't like that artificial flavored taste. But this is completely natural, the Gage Life protein powders and collagen peptides. So they taste amazing. I like a milkshake. Gave that a good shake. And it's time to chug. So I read the back of the protein and it says you should consume your protein within like three to five minutes of making it. And I make the mistake of just kind of letting it like chill by itself for a while. And it separates, so of course it doesn't taste the same. Mm -hmm. It's a milkshake. Like I've had so many bad protein powders. This one is amazing from Gage Life. Check it out and they have sales. So make sure you're following me on Instagram because I always, always, always post when they have sales. I'm gonna finish this, and right after this, I'm gonna start making my oatmeal. I eat oatmeal every single day. Like, <laughs> I my meal plan does say I can do like eggs and stuff, but since I'm constantly on the go, oatmeal works for me, and I'm literally just going through a stage where I'm addicted to oatmeal. Like, I don't think I can start my day without oatmeal. Like, it doesn't go right. So, I'll show you guys how I make the perfect oatmeal and as soon as I finish this in like mm, two minutes now for my breakfast I'm having oatmeal of course I use the Quaker fiber and protein oatmeal this has seven grams of fiber and seven grams of protein in the maple and brown sugar flavor I just put enough water to cover the oatmeal and then pop it in the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds perfect oatmeal all right, so now we're gonna add in all of the toppings. So I do this every single morning. Some almond butter first. This is just Justin's classic almond butter. It brings a nice flavor. It also has some healthy fats. I do one spoonful of this, which is just about equivalent to a tablespoon. I should have got more of this at the store. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. And that's 110 um, calories just for the one tablespoon. I like that it melts. It kind of like, you know, just melts right on in. You can also use peanut butter, but the almond butter, I think it just tastes better. I just use a teaspoon of chia seeds. And of course, chia seeds have protein. I'm gonna keep on mixing. Make sure the almond butter is throughout now that it's had kind of a chance to melt down. Mmm, so good! Next, I add in just a splash of almond milk. This makes the consistency a little more loose and it also actually cools the oatmeal down so I can eat it right away. Some almonds, I use this whole pack, like little snack pack of almonds. Just put that on the side. And then about a third cup of blueberries. I usually just eyeball it, but a container of blueberries, like this is just one, I think it's a pint of blueberries, lasts me about three days. Oatmeal for breakfast, so good. Here for lunch, I'm making a zucchini pesto shrimp pasta, so exciting. Um, I have my shrimp over here thawing out, and of course, I'm using my favorite seasoning of all time, like literally, fresh jack, salt-free, garlic, and herb. I'll probably use the rest of this today, which makes me so sad because I have not ordered more. 
So, oh my goodness, wow. This is the best seasoning on the planet, like this particular one. Now, Fresh Jacks has a lot of other good seasoning blends, but this here, the salt-free garlic and herb, oh my goodness. If you don't buy anything else that I recommend, like on my entire channel, get this, because y'all really know how much I love to cook, and that is bomb. I'm using this basil pesto made with extra virgin olive oil from Whole Foods, and I really like it. This is the only pesto I've ever purchased, and I think it tastes really good. It doesn't taste like artificial. I, of course, uh, consider making my own pesto, but I think that this is way easier. It's only like $2.50, and it tastes delicious. Okay, so we all know that spiraling our own vegetables for pastas and just desserts and things like that are way cheaper than actually buying it in the store because a package of zucchini noodles in the store usually run like $6. And yeah, this zucchini only cost me like a dollar and 40 something cent, I think. Have this spiraling tool. I get a lot of little kitchen gadgets from TJ Maxx but you literally just put it in there like I did and get to churning. Super easy. And then you have your noodles. You can do this with carrots, squash. And if you wanna, you know, break it so that the noodles aren't so long, you just take it out and then go for it again. And we have a huge mound of the zucchini noodles, super fresh. Gonna taste amazing with this pasta. They look like little, what is this? Uh, I don't know, like this is like a weapon. So pretty too. Zucchini noodles. It's lunchtime and I've started the pesto shrimp pasta with zucchini noodles. So I'm just sauteing some onions and minced garlic in here with olive oil and butter because like Dear says, butter make it taste better. Uh, I'm gonna throw in the zucchini noodles, add some portobello mushrooms, and then I've been marinating the shrimp for about two hours just with the Fresh Jack salt-free garlic and herb seasoning some red pepper flakes, and a little bit of the basil pesto sauce. Uh, yeah, I didn't marinate the shrimp last time I made this, so hopefully this comes out good. Also, you can add tomatoes. I just don't have any on hand and don't feel like going to the store. So I think tomatoes are a great addition, but I'm gonna have to pass today. I'm gonna pour in all of our zucchini noodles and let these cook down a little bit. It only took about three minutes for this to cook. I still like my veggies to be pretty fresh, so I think that this is perfection. I'm gonna dump the uh, mushrooms right in the middle, and let those saute, and then we'll do the same thing with the shrimp after these cook down a little bit. Let them sweat. This is a super quick meal. Perfect for lunch and also great like for dinner. I mean, if you're cooking for a big family, this is something that's super healthy and you can make a lot of for a little bit of money. On top of the fact that you like will always have leftovers when it comes to pasta dishes. So it's a good meal prep item as well. Got the shrimp in here. This one came out so much better from when I made it last week. And I think it's because Pasta noodles tend to need a lot more sauce. Like I haven't even added sauce to this yet. And y'all can see there's a lot of sauce coming off the shrimp because um, I marinated it. And then just the zucchini noodles themselves, since they're vegetables, they uh, kind of sweat, you know, and bring a lot of water out. So it kind of makes a sauce with the garlic and onions. I'm pretty sure I'll only need to use a little bit of this instead of the entire jar. I used the entire jar last week and I wasn't even able to use all of my pasta because I didn't have enough salt. So this, you could really eat this like without even adding more sauce because it's already so salty. Let me just add a little bit. Ooh, 
I'm so excited. I think putting the basil pesto on the shrimp before I cooked it was an excellent idea. So check out this recipe for sure, it's super easy. Add tomatoes, and if you don't like mushrooms, definitely add tomatoes. <laughs> boom, just add a little bit of this. Boom, 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 boom. I think that's enough, like, and now I have some for what, at the end of the week for meal prep? And next week too, probably. Go to meal. Delicious. You can always top this with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I'm staying away from dairy just because of my skin, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. Whoa. Let's try this out with the zucchini noodles. Mm. Mm hmm. It's crazy. I didn't even add any salt. It is so good. Get you some fresh jacks. Get you a Gage Girl meal plan. Some zucchini uh, noodle shredder thingies. Yeah. So oatmeal and the new <laughs> and my new zucchini shrimp pesto pasta. Oh yeah, every week. This is happening. Oh my goodness. I need to uh, have a party and make this for all my friends because they would love it. Mm. Okay, so make sure make sure if you make this you stop swirling your zucchini every few spins. See y'all. Mm. At dinner time. This is what I decided to cook for dinner. Just some salmon. I used the Fresh Jack Smoky, it's like a smoky sea salt seasoning and brown sugar on the salmon and then just sauteed spinach with the garlic and herb and no salt seasoning and then just some fresh minced garlic. I've cooked salmon on my channel a thousand times, I promise. So just refer to some sort of cooking video to see how I make it. But I usually sear the salmon on both sides for two minutes and then I pop it in the oven for about five minutes. It's super easy to make and delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching this what I eat in a day video on my pescatarian shred by Gage Girl Training. Make sure you check out Gage Girl Training and the Gage Life Supplements. I'll leave all the information down in the description box. They're a bomb. I'm gonna use them for the rest of my life. Y'all know once I really like something, it's like, it's no going back. It's been like that with the almond butter, with the fresh jacks. I just, I'm just stuck with it. So <laughs> I have my four week results coming next week. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that video. It's going to be lit because I'm not just gonna come on here and be like, yeah, I lost this amount of weight and this is what I look like. Y'all are really gonna like it. I'm telling you, I've had this concept in my head for months, okay? And your girl is snatched. So go ahead and just join the family and don't play yourself, okay? Thank y'all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye!